we aim to bring you the latest in track and field news as it happens globally. But before we get into the details of the video, we would like to ask you for two meaningful favors, and that is to click the subscribe button and then turn on the post notification so that you will be informed this track and field season. Now, let's get straight to the video. Five-time world champion Shelly Ann Fraser Price missed a chance today to cement herself as the overwhelming greatest female athlete ever to have competed but had to pull out of the Lausanne Diamond League meeting because of injury. Shelly Ann Fraser Price was due to compete at the 11th leg of the Lausanne Wanda Diamond League that showcased the very best of Jamaican women's sprinting, with world 200 meters champion Sherika Jackson and double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hera but in a surprising turn of event, Elaine Thompson was disqualified because of a false start. The race was won by Alea Hobbs in a time of 10.87 seconds. Sherika Jackson was noticeably affected by the false start and therefore wasn't able to execute a proper race. She had to settle for a place behind Hobbs who ran a great race. The race never lived up to the hype and expectations to see the ladies running 10.60's region. This was the first time the Jamaican champions were going head-to-head -head against each other in the 100 meters since they took all three medals at the World Championships in Oregon last month 2022. All who took part today will be needing points to qualify for the Wanda Diamond League final in Zurich on September 7 and 8. Fraser Price would have started as the favorite to claim victory in Lausanne, having picked up the gold medal in Oregon and raced to two separate sub-10.7 times in the Silesia Diamond League where she won in 10.66 seconds and the Monaco Diamond League where she obliterated the field in a time of 10.62 seconds. Sherika Jackson continues to impress and looking to topple the top two and show that she is for real. However, Sherika showed in this race that she has some work to do if she wants to reign as both the 200 meters and 100 meters star. Sherika may just be the one to break the world record if she continues to improve and keep registering fabulous times. Once again, congrats to all the ladies who entertained us today especially Hobbs. Athletism meeting director Jackie Delapierre said in an interview that they have not had such a high concentration of athletes of the highest level since 2012, the year when the meeting was sold out because Usain Bolt was due to run. Thanks for tuning into our sports YouTube channel, see you next time and remember to subscribe and thumbs up the video on your way out. Peace out.